You've heard all the gurus say, stick to your grocery list. I'm gonna share with you today why you should throw that tip out the window. Hey friends, welcome back. I have six grocery hauls that I'm gonna share with you for the month of March. I'm gonna also be sharing with you the savings that I got. I have a monthly grocery budget, like the highest that I can spend is $1,000. Do I do that every month? No. So usually I spend close to $800 a month on our grocery bill. Let's see if I hit $800. We used to have four children in the home, now we have two. But I still shop the way that I used to do because I am shopping those go-to items that I could stock up on. That way I'm always paying sale price. I'm never paying full price when I need it. I'll shop my shelves first, then I'll head out to the store. I did share the first haul of the month and it was a Sam's Club haul. It was in a previous video. I think it was like a shop with me at Sam's Club. I'll leave it below. That first haul at Sam's Club came to $160.46. The big savings that I saw, I saved $14.10 on that Black Forest lunch meat there at Sam's Club versus Walmart. The Lighthouse Ranch, at Sam's Club you get 32 ounces for $5.28. At Walmart, they, the biggest bottle they have is 20 ounces and it's $5.76. So yeah, I'm going to Sam's Club for my ranch. The chocolate covered almonds, I saved $10.42, yeah. Well, that's some good savings. The second haul of the month was actually a Sam's Club haul. Paper towels, and there are 15 mega rolls in there. 1% milk, I really want my lactose milk, but I have to go to Costco for that. The Olive Garden Italian dressing. I think I'm gonna do one slow cooker meal with one and have the other one on the shelf. I had to try the butter chicken. I love butter chicken. I splurged and got the kids some of the Tostitos salsa con queso. And it was actually cheaper to buy it like this at Sam's Club versus one. Walmart, the fruit strip bars, 24 strawberry, 12 tropical fruit, and 12 mixed berry, and they're so delicious. And of course, the pineapple spears, yum. Some organic carrots. I grabbed the Don Julio, two pounds of white corn tortilla chips, and then a bag, 32 ounces of broccoli florets, some grapes, they looked so, so good. Two pounds of strawberries, some ballpark, Franks, they were on sale. So I grabbed hot dog buns and some hamburger buns. We have some burgers in the freezer and I do wanna make sloppy joes and more eggs because I'm gonna make breakfast freezer meals. And then for Easter, the spring mix because it was on sale. So that has 125 count of candy. 24 cups of diced peaches, more Ritz crackers. Those were on sale. The Quaker Life cereal, Boston's been asking for that. And then the thin spaghetti. So it has six pounds of pasta in there. Of course, the ketchup, the whole reason why I went. And then the pistachios. Then I grabbed 32 ounces each of the half and half and heavy whipping cream. I also got, but is not seen here, a spiral sliced ham, a 24 ounce package of cooked Canadian bacon with some English muffins. Those are gonna be used in some freezer meals. And brie cheese. They're in the other refrigerator and honestly, I just don't feel like going and getting them. Okay, so that haul came to $214.55. A lot of great things in there, especially for Easter and for my shelves. Here's the, the big winners, the ketchup. I was able to get it for $2.99 a bottle. I saved $10.90 on that ketchup, yowza. Now when I spent on the first grocery haul of the month, I bought that ketchup, and of course the next week it went on sale, right? Uh, I still saved more buying it at Sam's Club versus Walmart. So I already know some of my go-to items I'm going to the bulk store for instead of the grocery store. I just get a better deal, like Miracle Whip, Sam's Club, Green Peppers, Sam's Club, Pesto, Sam's Club or Walmart, Tortellini, like cheese tortellini, Sam's Club, Brie Cheese, Sam's Club or Costco, Salamis, Lunch Meats, Sam's Club, Costco. So you're still, even with inflation, everything, you could still get really good deals at the bookstore. The other big one was the Barilla Pasta, and that's name brand pasta. Instead of getting it at Walmart, I saved $3.59 with that sale. I saved $9 buying the pistachios, at Sam's Club. $7 on the bacon. On those diced peaches, I saved $3.50. The butter chicken, I saved $1.38. $3 on the brie, I saved $38.08. You guys, that's almost $40 I saved. That's a lot of money. 
And then the third haul of the month, I ran into Macy's. Derek and I had a late night finishing, cleaning up our last home that we were in. We're fully out. We needed milk. Uh, it was Saturday night. Costco already had closed down. So the closest store to us was Macy's. While we were at Macy's, I found some good deals. So the Dino Bite cereal was on sale. You saved a dollar with the coupon. You could use the digital coupon up to five times. So I bought five bags of the cocoa Dino Bites. And then the Good Thins were on sale. And so I grabbed two sea salt, two barbecue, and two garden vegetable. I absolutely love those. They're gluten-free. Oh, they're so good. I did buy a gallon of milk that is in the refrigerator in the garage already. Uh, we're having taco salad tomorrow night for dinner. So we grabbed two heads of lettuce. We ended up using up all our lettuce from Sam's Club. We made Derek's parents dinner. It was taco salad, so now we're craving it. So two bags of the Josefina chips because they're the bomb. <laughs> tomatoes for that taco salad. Derek grabbed some gumbo uh, with uncured sausage, white meat, chicken, and shrimp, strawberry, cream cheese. I grabbed the garden vegetable. We have all the bagels that I bought from the Smith's sale. So we have bagels in the freezer. I wanted to go to Costco today, but by the time we were done doing all our projects, it was closed. I really wanted salami, I'm all out. And this is like what I have for lunch. Like I have a mini charcuterie board pretty much every day. And so this is the Applegate uncured uh, Genoa salami. And then white American cheese and slices. I'm out of like a jalapeno jam like for the charcuterie and so I got this Chad's Bear Lake Raspberry Jalapeno Jam. Hey, so that haul came to $82.75. That cereal, by comparison of Walmart's great value in the ounces, I saved $14.95. You guys, that is huge. I know go Good Thins. I love Good Thins. They're one of my go-to crackers. When I saw that tag for $2.99, I was like, yep. And I'm getting two of each of my favorites. So that was a deal because normally at Walmart they're $3.58. So I saved $3.54. So I, I saved like $19 at Macy's. So awesome. Here is the Costco haul. Derek, look what I found at Costco. Gluten-free sourdough loaf. And some more of the Milton's gluten-free crispy sea salt baked crackers. And then strawberries. The Best Foods mayonnaise was on sale. We are out of mayo. We only have what's left in the fridge. So that was a good deal. Some whipped topping heavy cream. We love having that with our fruit instead of like something naughty when we're just like craving sugar. The Stevens hot chocolate finally dropped in price. It was $11 and it was for $9.99. And then of course the milk for one half gallons of 2% lactose free milk in there. The chocolate covered almonds cause they're delicious. Some blackberries. I did get the hand soap. So it's the sea salt verbena, coconut, citrus, vanilla, and white jasmine. I am so excited. And then the organ plant protein shakes. There are 18 in here and they're chocolate. And then the salad topper they had back in. I love this topper. It's wild berry, the dry fruit that's in here. So I use it as a salad topper, but I also put it in our broccoli salad because it has everything that I like to add in there. Some nuts, the little seeds, and like, like a dried craisin type thing in there. Of course, the sweet heat had to do it. Broke into it in the car. Lunch, basically. And then the Jackson's avocado oil, sweet potato, sea salt chips. The gluten free cauliflower crust pizza that was on sale salami again one half is going in the freezer and then i'm going to probably do another half of this going into the freezer because i'll probably end up for easter using just one of these and then for derek his polish sausage from teton grass-fed beef dogs these were on sale so i grabbed him a package thank you you're welcome some romaine lettuce and then the dog food and for our Easter dessert, I got this lemon meringue cheesecake. It is so good. I am so glad I grabbed it. Everyone loved it. It's super rich, so like a thin slice is plenty, but this was so good. And that is the Costco haul. So at Costco, I spent $200.11. My savings, oh, I didn't do all the math at Costco. I got tired. Look at all this math, you guys. Seriously, I did a lot of math for you. But what I noticed, I probably ended up saving uh, around $25, $30 by getting the things at Costco versus Walmart. Just from a glance, that's what I got. My biggest tip on how I save on my groceries. It is tracking the prices 
on your everyday items you buy all the time. You're going to take whatever stores you shop at in your area or whatever's close to you and you're gonna jot down either in a notebook, I mean it could be your planner or a grocery price book. I'll leave this one for you down below. You're gonna track those items. So when you're looking every week at the flyers, you can cross compare across all those stores where the best deals are because not all sales are good sales. I've said this a thousand times and I may sound like a broken record to some of you, but I want you to start saving on your groceries, you guys. This is where we tend to like scrimp when it comes to like tightening up our bills and cutting corners and we usually try to slash our grocery bill. I'm sorry, you're feeding your family. That should not be where you're slashing it. But I know that's probably the only place some of us can do that. So by shopping this way, you're going to have have food on your shelf waiting and ready for you and your family. I can go into a store now and when I see those sales tags or when I'm in the bulk stores like Sam's Club and I'm seeing all those yellow instant savings tags, I can see like, really, is that really a deal? Is that really worth buying right now? And I, I could spot it right away, it's crazy. But that's because I've kept track of it for years know your prices. I know a lot of us don't wanna do the homework, but let me tell you, it becomes like clockwork and you start picking this up, okay? If you keep track in your notebook or your planner, have categories. Our Know Before You Go grocery price book has like over 30 something categories, no joke. You can track frozen convenience food, frozen desserts, coffees, teas, wines, candy, snack food, chips, box goods, baking, sauces, oils, condiments, canned tomatoes, canned vegetables, canned beans, box items, breakfast, grains, pastas, gluten-free, babies, pets, uh, the deli section, the bakery, seafood, beef, pork, poultry section, and then those are in the freezer section too in here. You can keep track of your prices with milks and creams and cheeses and butters and eggs and produce, fruits and vegetables. They all have a category. They all have a place right here for you. I fill this out, but I use pencil. So when there's a big jump in prices, regular prices, not sale prices, regular prices, I just go in and write the new one. This is going to be very handy when I share with you these next hauls, especially the last one. Then I went back to Sam's Club and these are the things that I got there. Bought some bread because I'm just not feeling it to make it in the next two days. So two loaves of white bread. And then the five cheese tornellini with ricotta cheese, aged parmesan, mozzarella, mascarpone, and aged romano cheese. Yum, this is so good. And it's cheaper buying it at Sam's Club than Costco. So I am going to be breaking these down into four portions for four meals and put them in the freezer. The Bella mushrooms, my favorite ranch dressing, the Homestyle Ranch. This is a 2.5 pound package of celery sticks. Three English cucumbers. Their spinach dip is on sale and it is so good. Heat this up, it's delicious. I absolutely love having it with inside sliced mini peppers, so good. A bag of wavy potato chips and a package six pounds of Italian style beef meatballs. So that haul came to $63.42. Versus Walmart, I saved $77.10. Yeah. That was awesome. Still no green peppers at Sam's Club. Are you guys seeing any at yours? I'm so sad. And when I was at Macy's, I really wanted to get a green pepper. Macy's wanted $1.18 for one green pepper. I'm like, heck no, I'm not paying that, no. Okay, the last haul was Smith's. So I was able to take advantage of the Easter sales. So this is what we picked up. Here is my Smith's haul. This was from their Easter sales. This haul I'm actually filming on Easter Sunday. Great deal, finally, on a spiraled sliced ham. This is a honey ham. That was the only kind that was on sale for the price, $1.47 a pound, which I was nervous that none of the stores were gonna have a sale on ham, the right things were going. They just put these on sale starting Tuesday. So I got this ham for the freezer. So with the sale, I grabbed uh, 16 ounces of cottage cheese and and 16 ounces of sour cream. Pineapple was on sale for 88 cents each. That's awesome. I grabbed one for us and, and then I grabbed one for our friend who we went over to visit after and we brought them over that we bought in this haul. Uh, we brought them over a frozen lasagna, some garlic bread, uh, a pie. He just had an operation, so I didn't have time to make him dinner, but I brought him dinner. And two boxes of the Simply Truth Organic yellow corn taco shells and five bottles of the Best Food Mayonnaise. 
$2.99 a bottle when using the digital coupon. Oh yeah. So I have that big one that I bought from, it was either Sam's or Costco, and these five. I need a sale now on Miracle Whip. The Honey Crisp apples were on sale for 88 cents a pound. That is amazing. They had on this rack the Mrs. Cumberson stuffing, two for three dollars. So I got one traditional and three cubed. And then butter was for like, what, $2.19, I think? So I grabbed two unsalted and two salted. And then the eight ounce cheese was on sale when you buy three. So I grabbed three Colby Jack. Two bacons, these were on sale. Saved a lot compared to getting them at Walmart. Walmart was like five something, so this was a good deal. Pasta was on sale for 99 cents, so I grabbed four spaghetti, two rigatoni, and one ditalini. This box will last us for quite a while because I mainly use ditalini in salads, and sometimes I put it in my minestrone soup. This is a pineapple pie. Never heard of pineapple pie, can't wait to try it. So this is the last of the hauls for March. The best things out of there, I mean, was the mayo. Oh, come on, best food mayonnaise for $2.99. That's awesome. So I saved $9.45 getting it on that sale versus Walmart. The butter, I saved $7.16. The stuffing, I saved $4.32. Bacon, $3.98. The pineapple, hello. See, it's right there, you see it sticking up. I saved $1.50 and the ham. The ham was a big one. I saved $13.36. Their sales, you know, with their prices, they're always marked higher. I saved $65.78, but that's with their store prices. But in reality, it was $41.73 compared to my lowest price store, which is Walmart. That was amazing savings. My total for the month came to $828.25. Not bad especially the things that we put on ourselves so we don't have to pay full price later. I'm happy with that. I saved a lot in March. From what I saw and calculated, it came to $220. If you'd like to see what is in season for the month of April that you can keep an eye on for produce, you know, if you wanna stock up on to dehydrate, freeze dry, just throw into your freezer, What's in season? What can you find a really good price on? I have a principle for you. It is down below. Hop over to the website, sign up for our monthly newsletter. You're gonna start getting tips, tricks, and you're going to be the first to know of sales on our planners, and I'll be sending you free printables and some recipes as well. Let me know your tips and tricks on how you saved. How did you save this past Easter? What did you stock up on? I would love to know. These two videos right here I have for you on how you can save on your groceries and how to make your go-to meals more exciting again. I'll meet you over there. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you soon. Bye.